हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम हरलीन कौर आई होप यू ऑल आर लर्निंग वेल फ्रॉम द वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज यू नो आई हैव स्टार्टेड द पोएम ऑफ क्लास एट द एंड एंड द क्रिकेट एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द मेन आइडिया थीम गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव्स विद द माइंड मैप एंड मोर ओवर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट स्टेंजा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेकेंड स्टेंजा ऑफ पोएम द एंड एंड द क्रिकेट Now, students, let us recite this stanza together. At last, by starvation and famine made bold, all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold, away he set off to a miserly ant to see if, to keep him alive, he would grant him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain. He wished only to borrow. He would repay it tomorrow. If not. he must die of starvation and sorrow now students first of all write down the meanings of difficult words that are first is starvation means dying of acute hunger famine critical time made bold have courage dripping with wet wet in rain trembling shivering set off made his way miserly stingy alive a living being and grant means give i hope students you are write down the meaning side by side and in the next lines shelter refuge mouthful a little repay return sorrow grief now students understand this stanza clearly in these lines finally out of hunger and starvation being all wet and cold the cricket set off to the house of a miserly ant he wanted to know if he would lend him a mouthful of grain and a shelter from rain he promised himself that he would repay the ant he knew that if he didn't do this he would die of hunger and pain now here students wet with rain and shivering with cold the hungry cricket went to an ant to get shelter and food and he made it clear that he would return the borrowed grain the next day now students let us concentrate on the next stanza says the ant to the cricket i am your servant and friend but we ants never borrow we ants never lend but tell me dear cricket did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm cute the cricket not i now students as we have discussed in the goals and objectives that in this poem you will learn literary devices and here i am going to introduce these literary devices before proceeding further understand this first literary device that is alliteration here students alliteration means repetition of the same letter or sound and if you have noticed in the last line of this stanza when the weather was warm here w word is repeating again and again when the weather was warm students again i am repeating alliteration means the repetition of the same letter or sound as in the last line when the weather was warm so here w word w letter is repeating again and again so this is an example of alliteration now recite this stanza together says the ant to the cricket i am your servant and friend but we ants never borrow we ants never lend but tell me dear cricket did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm cute the cricket not i my heart was so light that i sang day and night for all nature looked gay you sang sir you say 
Go then, says the ant, and dance the winter away. Now here again students write down the meanings of difficult words. Here lend means to give a loan. Lay by, save. Cute means said. And here again light means in a cheerful mood. Gay, happy. Dance the winter away means go and spend your entire, entire winter period in dancing. So now students let us concentrate on the summary. Here the ant said to the cricket that he is his servant and friend. But they neither borrow nor lend. Actually the ant's principle is not bad. It teaches us a lesson to everybody to plan for the rainy day. And here he asked the cricket if he didn't store a single grain of food when the weather was warm. And then the cricket carelessly replies that he sang day and night as his heart was so light and happy and he didn't store any food. The ant told him to go and dance the winter away. So here in these lines, in this stanza, we understood that the cricket admitted that he had been careless and foolish. He enjoyed the beauties of summer and sang merrily. The ant then told him bluntly to go and dance all winter and he turned the poor cricket out. So students, now one stanza is left and we will be discussing the last stanza in the next video. I hope you all have enjoyed this poem. If you have any query, you can discuss. Thank you and have a nice day.